Hello everyone, it's Philip Lee returning with another episode of Civil War Chat. Today is the 13th of March of 2022. The topic today is vanity of vanities. Uh, click, uh, click here in the lower right if you'd like to subscribe to future episodes and also in the far upper right to click the notification bell to be notified when they're out. Okay, so let me begin the, the presentation. President Joe Biden has raised to the stratosphere the bar on the ecclesiastical warning about hubris, vanity of vanities. He should have known in 2020 that he was too old to be president. Only an ugly vanity could have convinced him otherwise. Consider how it drove him to set the 20th anniversary of the World Trade Center attack as a date on which to end the 20-year Afghanistan war. His pride led him to into a chaotically executed withdrawal that became America's worst military debacle in memory. It was an even greater sin than the Vietnam War ending because it was entirely of his own making. Worse, his ineptness showed America's rivals across, across the globe that we are weak, that he is weak and has made us weak that we are distracted by flagellating ourselves for flaws that the regime media and academia exaggerate beyond all proportion. Cons consequently, it is only a matter of time before a leader of a conflicting world power, it was only a matter of time before a leader of a conflicting power challenged us. Biden's vanity-driven weakness not only led to the Ukraine invasion, it caused $7 a gallon gasoline. The full inflationary consequences of gasoline prices are not yet seen. Most of us seem to underestimate them and surely President Biden does. Moreover, Biden and his class of elites have no appreciation for the obvious economic hardships that such inflation will wreak upon the average American or do they seem to understand that it may wreck our entire economy? Finally, Biden's vanity has led him into denial. He cannot fix our problems if he denies them. He has, for example, falsely convinced himself that endless deficit spending has not, did not trigger our inflation and is not even a factor contributing toward it. He has also convinced himself that the average American is doing better economically than we think. He expects us to believe his version of the situation and deny our own obvious experience. Only an obscene amount of vanity could cause a leader to be so blind. Unfortunately, as bad as Biden is, Vice President Kamala Harris is worse. She is obsessed with identity politics. Nothing matters more to her than correcting the largely imaginary disadvantages confronting women and Blacks. Well, the only thing that's more important to her is her own uh, career advancement, her own aggrandizement. She ignores the fact that women represent 60%, a, a significant majority of college students, and that America is probably the least racist of all major multiracial countries. Barack Obama could not have been elected president without white voters. And there's a long line of potential black immigrants that want to get into our country despite our alleged systemic racism. Identity politics, critical race theory, critical gender theory are all merely pernicious distractions compared to the inflation implied by $7 a gallon gasoline and interest rates set at zero and here they've been for 14 years. How can you keep inflation under control with zero interest rates indefinitely? You can't. Contra contrast such dis uh, distractions with the traditional patriotism of the typical Southerner. The classic Confederate soldier went to war chiefly to defend his homeland from invasion. Defending the system of slavery was at most, at best, or let's say at most a distant secondary factor. 70% of the Southern families did not own slaves. 
and fewer, a lower percentage of individuals actually held title to slaves, actually a single digit percentage. Moreover, Southerners have long been more likely to volunteer for military service than have residents from other parts of the country. Presently, 44% of military personnel are from the South, even though it has only 36% of the nation's population. Also consider the conduct of Confederate military leaders like Robert E. Lee. After his defeat at the Battle of Gettysburg, he rode out to meet the soldiers returning from Pickett's failed charge, where he took personal responsibility for the pres in the presence of those soldiers and the soldiers of every rank. He took personal responsibility for the, for the failure of that battle. When he got the army safely back into Virginia, he submitted his resignation to President Jefferson Davis, who declined it. In contrast, Biden and his military uh, advisors from Defense Secretary Austin to Chief, uh, uh, head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Milley, they have never taken responsibility for the, the Afghanistan debacle. In fact, to the contrary, they claim it was a, a notable, exceptional evacuation success. Such garbage. Since Kamala Harris would be worse than Biden, our only choice is to change Congress during this midterm election. We, we can't have Kamala replace it, replace uh, Biden. So we got to change Congress. Okay, so to get a better understanding of how um, identity politics, critical race theory, critical gender theory, is undermining our country and hollowing it out from the inside. Consider my book, The Dreadful Frauds, Critical Race Theory and Identical Bo Identity Politics. There is absolutely no chance that there will be any Confederate monuments left standing if critical race theory and identity politics become the standard interpretation of American society and American history, no chance. Both of those, those philosophies are wrong, they're bogus, but to, to, const, to, to combat them, the dreadful frauds by Philip Lee is going to give you the in, uh, information you need. If you want an autograph copy, it's $20 from me. Uh, just email me, phil, P-H-I-L underscore Lee, L-E-I-G-H at me, me.com. You can get regular copies at uh, Amazon and uh, Barnes and Noble. Uh, excuse me, no, right now it's just available at Amazon. The paper copies are $16 and the Kindle copies are $6. Okay, that's our show for today and thanks for watching.